I want to show you a little bit. I want to give you a window into why your underlying health is so important when it comes to uh, getting over a COVID-19 infection. Hello, and welcome back. If the same strain of coronavirus infected three different people, why are there three different outcomes? Why does one patient have a 10-day course of mild flu-like symptoms, little cough, fever, malaise, and then they recover without incident? Second person has a much more severe course where he becomes short of breath, he goes to the emergency room, he requires oxygen and he gets admitted to the hospital and is in the hospital for two and a half weeks. Fortunately, does not need to be intubated, recovers, and then he has two to three months of long COVID symptoms and finally completely recovers. And what about the third person who goes downhill very quickly, needs to be intubated, uh, he's in the ICU for two weeks, and then dies. Same exact genetic strain of virus. What was different was the underlying health of the individuals. That is what made the difference in those three outcomes. So. I wanna show you a little bit, I wanna give you a window into why your underlying health is so important when it comes to uh, getting over a COVID-19 infection. So we talked about the underlying health of the individual as being key to understanding what's going on. Now, ACE2 receptors, which the virus needs to gain entry into the cell, they are expressed on the cells of uh, blood vessel linings, the lining of your lungs, your kidneys, your liver, um, but they're especially plentiful in areas of your body where you have inflammation. Inflammation that's either going on under the surface that you don't know about, possibly in your gut or in your joints, or chronic inflammation that you do know about, uh, such as if you have asthma, which is inflammation of the lungs underlying, or if you have diabetes and hypertension, which cause cardiovascular inflammation and especially cancer. So this is why these other medical conditions make you more likely to have a negative outcome with COVID. It's because of all the inflammation that is present in these conditions. So let's talk about long COVID and how to recover from it. Uh, and at the end of this video, I am going to give you a program and talk in detail about uh, what this treatment program entails. But we have to understand what's going on, right? Okay, long COVID affects people of all ages who've had a documented COVID infection and then have subsequent negative uh, tests or tests, but still have symptoms. They still feel sick. There's a lot of people who are suffering with this. The estimate is up to a third of people, like a quarter to a third who get COVID are going to have to deal with long COVID symptoms for at least a year. And that means currently there's 10 million people suffering from long COVID. That's why you hear about it so much because of how many people in just the past couple of years have had to deal with this. So what are the symptoms? fatigue, malaise, brain fog, pain in uh, places that you never had pain before, headaches, uh, and something called PEM, which is 
post-exertional malaise, where you exert some energy, you go do something, and then when you get home, you crash. You just feel sick and like you have the flu and sometimes can't get out of bed for days. So these are the most common symptoms in long COVID. What we are treating is post-viral syndrome. So now I wanna describe what I call the house of cards scenario. Okay, COVID-19 is like a wave that hits you. And if your underlying health has gaps and holes, maybe your vitamin D level is low, maybe you're under uh, an inordinate amount of stress, maybe your adrenal glands aren't functioning uh, as they should. So there are underlying uh, deficiencies or weaknesses in your health, but you go about your business and you have few, if any, symptoms. But then the wave hits, COVID-19 infection hits, and this house of cards falls, and it falls hard in a lot of people. Now, like I was saying, what causes this house of cards scenario could be nutritional deficiencies, uh, weak adrenal function. Uh, I'm finding a lot of that in long COVID patients. Uh, previous exposure to toxins, either chemical toxins or mold toxins, will cause a weakened system to be present. Uh, your gut microbiome, if it's not healthy, it's a drain on your system. And people who don't get enough sleep or are chronically stressed, these are the risk factors for getting long COVID. So recovering from long COVID is like rebuilding a building from the ground up. We need to start at the ground level and make sure your nutrition is healthy, your stress is not too high, your gut microbiome is balanced after we test it, your adrenal function is at the proper level after we test it, and several other blood tests, which I'm gonna go into uh, in a few minutes. So what is the comprehensive treatment program that you need to apply to recover from long COVID? It starts with supporting your mitochondrial function. Your mitochondria, as you age, uh, become worn out and damaged by free radicals. And then when a COVID-19 wave hits, uh, there's a collapse in your cells ability to make energy, especially your brain cells and your nervous system. So supporting mitochondrial function uh, is at the foundation of the program. It's first priority. Next, microbiome support. Your gut microbiome should be supporting your health, not detracting from it. And we can test it and then we can make the proper interventions. Adrenal support. I'm finding uh, almost every single long COVID patient has low adrenal function. That leads to fatigue and brain fog, that leads to a hyperreactive immune system, and uh, a lot of the symptoms can be related to low adrenal function. So we can test for that and we can uh, supplement it as needed. And this is something that contributes to something called POTS, where, where there is low blood pressure and tachycardia uh, that comes on very easily. Uh, the adrenal gland makes hormones that control that as well. Deep sleep. I can't stress enough how important it is for healing to, on a regular basis, be getting down to stage four deep restorative sleep. It's a key component of my program, and I use every uh, tool at my disposal to ensure that that occurs. That is what is necessary for your nervous system to recover. Strategic pacing um, is a concept where you take frequent rests throughout the day. You don't go uh, depending on your symptoms, you don't go more than a couple of hours without taking a 15-minute rest break to recharge your battery. OK, 
Okay, you make deposits when you rest. And so you recharge your battery throughout the day so you don't exhaust yourself and, uh, and lose ground. Environmental testing, if there's any suspicion of mold exposure or chemical toxins or pesticides, uh, we can test for that and we can uh, apply a detoxification program. And finally, prescription medications are incredibly useful at helping quickly remediate symptoms that are affecting your day-to-day -day existence while the natural treatments have the time they need to help your system recover. So now I'd like to tell you about the mitochondrial support program that I put all of my long COVID patients on. Now I've been studying mitochondrial biochemistry uh, and metabolism for 30 years. I've looked at the research, I've done research myself, and I've experimented in the clinical setting with patients who have mitochondrial damage. This is the nutrient protocol. These are the most important nutrients that your mitochondria need to repair and to provide you with a surplus of energy to function at their highest level. Acetyl L-carnitine, N-acetylcysteine, alpha lipoic acid, and coenzyme Q10 are almost never in regular multivitamins at the dosages that are necessary to support mitochondrial health and repair. So um, you need to make sure that you're getting dosages at this level uh, for this program to work. And then there are other uh, key cofactors, other nutrients like vitamin C, zinc, selenium, even B-complex uh, that help uh, all of these other nutrients do their job. They act as cofactors. So bottom line is uh, about 10 years ago, I began working with a company to put all of this into one bottle, okay, one supplement that gives you your multivitamin and all of these key mitochondrial support nutrients at these dosages, okay? Because convenience matters. So uh, it is available in a single bottle and the dosage is between four tablets and eight tablets a day. And it covers all of these bases. And that product is called Capax Immune. The reason I'm focusing on the mitochondria at the start of this program is because without enough cellular energy, you can't heal. Energy fuels the healing process. And if your mitochondria are sick or damaged, you will not be able to heal. With a surplus of cellular energy, every other treatment you use will work better because the nervous system will have more energy, the adrenals will have more energy, your gut cells will have more energy. Every other treatment you apply will work better if your mitochondria are properly supported. In the next part of this series, I'm gonna be showing you specific case histories of patients of mine who have recovered from severe long COVID symptoms. So please click on subscribe and notifications. So when I post part two of this series, you will be notified. Until then, be well and stay safe.